Hello and welcome to this video, a complete guide to the drill through feature of Power BI. I love this feature. I have this summary report on screen and we are going to add some drill through functionality so that we create a report like this. In this report, we have a summary page and in the bottom right, a map showing the sales from different countries. Now on that map, I can right mouse click on a country such as Poland and it offers this drill through functionality to two different pages of this report. If I clicked on the yearly variance page, here is a page that breaks down the sales for the selected country, Poland, and compares them to the previous year. Then there is this back button, which I can click to return back to summary. So drill through is a brilliant feature. I even have a bit of text above the map informing the consumers of my report that that is possible. And drill through offers the brilliant functionality to be able to get further insights on something. In our case, a country's sales. We can go from high level information down into some granular detail. So let's look at how you set that up in Power BI. So back in Power BI desktop, and I'm on that summary page, and you can see there are two other pages in this report, yearly variance and buyer category. Now let's begin with buyer category. If I navigate to that page, because this is a page I want to drill through to. And on here, we have a nice breakdown of different information about a selected country. But at the moment, there is no country selected. That is what the drill through from summary will do. Over in the visualizations pane, underneath those visualizations, there is a drill through section. And there is a box asking us to add our drill through fields. And that will be our country field. So in the fields area, I'm going to expand my country table from this data set and drag the country field into the box provided. Now that is there, we can drill through. Now something worth noting, I think at this point, is just above that field is this option to keep all filters. And that is set to on. Now notice on this page that I have a breakdown of a different country stores, sales over the years. Currently showing 2016 to 2019, the four years of this data set. Now if I navigate back to the summary page, to perform the drill through from the map, notice on here that there is a slicer and that slicer is currently showing a date range between 2018 and 2019. Now the setting in the drill through section to keep all filters means that it will still use that slicer filter even when we get to the other page that doesn't contain that slicer. So if I right mouse click a country, let me right click on France, drill through, I only have the one page option, so I'll click on by category, and I'm through to the by category page, and the drill through has taken place. I can see in the stores, visual especially, that there are only four stores, the four that we have in France, and also, it's only showing the years 2018, 2019 because of the keep all filters setting. And I think that's great functionality. To see it in action, if I came and removed the option to keep all filters, and then if I use the back button that was provided as soon as we set 
the drill through field. This arrow appeared in the corner of the page. I can now come and use that. Now I'm in Power BI Desktop at the moment, so I will have to hold down the control key and click to use that button. When we upload to the Power BI service or embed this report into a web page, that will just become a clickable button. You won't need to do the control click. Now let's see it in action again. I've still got that slicer showing 2018, 2019. Let's perform this on Sweden. Right click, drill through by a category. And now you can see we only have the one store in Stockholm, Sweden, but all of the years are shown. It has not used the slicer setting from that summary page. So that's what that keep all filters option does. I'm going to switch that back on as I think that's useful in this report. That's how I want it to work. Now I mentioned that there is the arrow button in the corner and that was set up as soon as we set the drill through field. We didn't do that and you may be happy with it but maybe we have a different button that we want to use. That is possible. All that button is as a simple back button, we can create it ourselves very easily. So I'm going to click on that button and press delete on my keyboard. So now I have no way of going back. But if I click insert on the ribbon and image, I have created an image that I would like to use for the button and I've put it on my very messy desktop here. Here it is, simple little image that I quickly created with the word back and an arrow and I'm imagining that that's exactly what I want. That's a brilliant button. I wish that was my back button. So let me position that where I want for the moment. It's just an image, it doesn't do anything. So with it selected over in the format image pane, there is this action area. I can switch that to on, expand, and it's already set to back, which is the action I want it to perform, although there are other options that you can explore. So you can make images buttons. You can give them clickable actions. Now with that done, something you might have noticed. When we perform the drill through, to this buy a category page, there's nothing really here telling us what country we chose. Now, yes, there is the store Stockholm, and I'm sure we could figure it out from there, but none of the other visuals give us that idea. It's only that one. So it's not very clear what country is selected. And I think that will be useful. Now to do that, we're going to add a card. If I click somewhere on my page, to deselect all visuals. I'm going to bring in a card visual. I'll position it in that corner as well. I'm not going to be too precise here. The aim is not to make this the greatest report ever. I want to focus on the drill through, but I'm going to put this above that back button and with it there over to the fields area. Let's drag the country field into the box provided, and there is Sweden. I'm going to pop into the formatting section for that visual and turn off that category. You can just about see it saying first country underneath the name Sweden there. Let's turn off the category and that text disappears. And then I can maybe resize it a tiny bit and, and do lots more. So that is done. If I click the back button, the image we set, that takes me back to summary. If I go to perform a drill through, let's go for Ireland, right click, drill through, by a category. We are taken here with the breakdown from Ireland, the top five products, the two stores we have, and there in a the corner, it tells us the country that we're currently looking at. I can now click my back button to come back to the summary page again. Because the next thing I want to cover is that at the moment to perform the drill through, we right mouse click on a country. And as you hover your mouse over a country, 
a tool tip appears and it says that we can right click to drill through. A common question by people when training is can we get a button to drill through? Do you have to right click? Can we just have a button that does it instead? And the answer is yes, we can. So let's see that in action. If I just make this map a little bit smaller for a moment, because maybe I'm going to use the insert tab and buttons to put a button above it, and I'll choose blank out of this options, drag the button where I want and resize it a tiny bit without being too accurate. Then over into the visualizations pane, I have the option for button text. I think I'll switch that on, expand it, and just type some simple text, such as drill through. And that will do for now. Well, I might make the font a little bit bigger, but you get the idea. We can make that look wonderful. But the key thing is that we have this action step again. I can set it to on, expand it, and this time drill through. I want to set it to perform a drill through. At the moment, I have no destination. So let me choose that. The by category page is my only option. And there we go. Now looking at the page at the moment, the drill through button doesn't appear to be active. If I click it, nothing's happening. And as I hover over, it informs me to drill through to by category, you need to select a data point. So in that map, if I click Denmark, I can now click on drill through. You can see the button becomes active and giving it a click, a control click because I'm in Power BI desktop. And now I'm on this page. You can see the text Denmark doesn't fit in. So that will obviously be something we tidy up if this was that serious. But focusing on the drill through, I can see it's working. And we've managed to navigate here via a button instead of the right click approach. Let's navigate back to summary again, because look, using a button's wonderful. Everyone loves to press a button, but I don't see it as something too serious as an improvement here, because right clicking is still two clicks just as the button is. And what we want to do next is set another drill through page. And if I was using a button, I'd probably create another button for the other drill through. So, I think I'll remove that button and I'm happy with taking the right click approach. But I wanted to demonstrate that it is possible. Let me make my map a little bit larger. And the next drill through is for the yearly variance page. So let's navigate to that. I'll come and drag the country field into the drill through fields box to set the drill through. Check that my keep all filters is on and whether we're happy with that or not. Now for this example, I'm going to say no. I'm going to switch it off because this report focuses on using a yearly variance. So I don't want any changes in the date range on summary coming over to take effect on here. Now I do have a slicer on this page already in the top right corner specifying the year to use. So that would override the filter, but out of good practice, I'm going to switch that off. And now I just want to quickly copy a couple of things over from the by category page. I can see it's put the arrow to go back in the corner. I'm going to come and delete that one and then navigate to by category. And I'm going to take a copy of the card. Let's copy that visual, navigate to yearly variance. I'm going to paste it on here, home and paste. Let's drag that underneath. And this is going to look a little bit horrific, but please uh, ignore that because I'm coming over to buy category and I'm going to copy the image as well. Let's use the home tab for that. There's the right click and give me an option over to, oh, sorry, wrong page, yearly variance, paste it on here. I'm kind of short on space, which is why it's going to look a little bit horrific. Let me just make that card a little bit smaller and fit it in there for the moment. You get the idea. Let's see it working. Summary page. 
We know the drill here. That wasn't an intended joke. Let's right mouse click on France, drill through, and now two pages as options. Do we want to drill through and see a breakdown from France by category or by a yearly comparison? I can choose the yearly variance option and now I'm taken to the yearly variance page. So that is the drill through feature. I tried to show how to use it, but also answer some of the common questions that I get when I'm training. If you found it useful, please hit the subscribe button so that you are notified about new videos coming out in this channel and hit the thumbs up button below. Thank you for your time. I'll see you again soon.